All right, everybody. Uh, I actually forgot to film an intro tonight, so welcome to Can Hammer, your source for 40k from the Great White North. Tonight's game will be my battalionless uh, custodies against arch nemesis Francois and his triple crest crusader list. So hope you enjoy. This is a very tight game, right to the bottom of turn six. So do watch the whole thing. Hope you enjoy. All right, everybody, here's my usual no battalion style custodies, pure custodies list, which I've been working on. So uh, we have a Valoris, a shield captain on bike with the Orc Aquilus, and a Vexilla with the minus one to hit banner. He is the warlord with superior creation warlord trait. Then I have a unit of five Aqualon Terminators, all Lashdrum Bolters, and Solarite Power Fists, or Solarite Gauntlets. Then I have a unit of five bikes, all Hurricane Bolters. Then I've got two Caladius tanks, and a Telemon with the Double Storm Cannon. And that's it, that's 1999 points, my no battalion style custodies list. Let's see what Francois brought. All right. Nasty, nasty. Francois, what did you bring tonight? Okay, so this is my list, I think, for CCBB. First uh, practice Oh, so you while. decided to play 40k? I decided to play 40k. Oh, okay, you I'm better gonna, sign up. I'm going to send you my money tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Triple Crash Crusaders. All right. Uh, so I made two of them characters. This one is my Warlord. Okay. He has Ion Bulwark and Endless Fury. Okay. And then a uh, Gatling Cannon and Rapid Fire Battle Cannon. Endless Fury is the extra strong Gatling. Uh, yes, the Endless okay. is the extra strong Gatling. 14 shots, 6 is explode. Cool. Then the other character is this guy. I paid 2 CP to give him first knight, okay. which is the Crass Warlord trait. Reroll once. Yeah. And then Headsman's Mark, which is plus 1 damage on his weapons against anything that's got 10 wounds or more. Plus 2 against Titanic. Against you, it only comes into play for your 2 tanks and your Dreadnought. Then the third knight is not a character, just bog standard. He's got the big Melta, another Gatling. And a carapace weapon. Okay. This is the D6 no line of sight rockets that I'm using. Yeah. Then to support that, I got two guard battalions. So three infantry squads, what you see is what you get. A couple of insurgents have bolters because extra points. Mm -hmm. Three company commanders. One of them, because he's my favorite character in the whole army, I do pay for his power fist because he has okay. the power fist. Okay, well, that's <laughs> like so two he, points or something, right? It's eight points. Eight points? <laughs> yeah. It's not the smart choice, but okay. he's got his trusty power fist. I'm paying okay. for it. And a primary psyker. He's only there to get me a, a deny, really, and fill out the battalion. The smart choice might be to have a commissar, but I like my primary psyker. Yeah, and fine. then good. Uh, the um, wyvern is there uh, in part. One of the two battalions, I forgot to say, is an Emperor's Wrath yep. artillery company. And you got the, wyvern. the wyvern is in there. Two CP, fire twice. Yep. It's really good. Not so much against you, but against most armies, it does some work. And two more CP to go for an assassin. The uh, Calidus, you're already really strapped for CP, so I'm hoping this uh, screws you over turn one, and then I can deep strike her somewhere and do some work. I was thinking about going for a Vindicare, but you only really have like seven models of the Vindicare wounds on twos, so you know what? Go for the Calidus. And that's all right. army. Yeah, obviously you don't have to decide to the point, but you already decided. Yeah, I've already decided. Yeah. And uh, obviously they're all Cadians, they're painted as Cadians, I play them as Cadians. Okay, they're all Cadians. I okay. do like the reroll ones on the Wyvern, so. Cool. Okay, we'll come back with the mission. All right, we're playing ITC Mission 4. That is uh, the five objectives that are uh, one in the middle, uh, which is there, and then four player placed. So I placed uh, one here in my deployment zone. It's Hammer and Anvil. And I placed this one over here. We turned them over. And then Francois placed this one at the back here, and he placed this one over there on the other side. And so you get the bonus if you hold the two that you placed. Uh, so that's why we flipped over the ones that I placed. And uh, that's it. It's Hammer and Anvil, as I say. Francois is on this side. I'm on that side. So Francois has decided to give me first deployment and possibly first turn. So we're going to deploy. I'm not going to seize after letting you deploy first. Well, You're some going people first, do. <laughs> Some people don't understand that. So uh, we will uh, deploy and we'll come right back. All right. We are finished deploying. I deployed first. So I deployed bikes behind this building with the captain there. My two characters there in six inch range of everybody, and my gunline at the back, and Terminators in Deep Strike. Francois chose to go second, so he has managed to hide all his army behind this large building. <laughs> <laughs> so he's probably going to let me go first, and yes. then he's got some dudes at the back just to scream. Oh, this guy should be there, sorry. And, this guy's um, there. <laughs> and then the Caldus, obviously, he chose a Caldus and is coming in off Deep Strike. So, Francois, first or second? 
Uh, I'm going to go second. Thank you. You can go first. All right, cool. All right. Have a good game. Good luck. Custodies, turn one coming up. All right. So it turns out uh, I could just see this knight here on the edge of the building there. Yeah, it was so, super dark. Um, so I've just moved my tanks around there. They have good mobility. And the Telamon had to move, unfortunately. And then uh, they're going to shoot some knights. So How, What's the movement? Uh, 14. 14, wow. Yeah. Cool. All right, we're going to come back at the end of the turn and see what happens. I rule on camera for the background. Yeah, okay. So turn one, I took eight wounds off that knight. I rolled 11 wounds on the Caladius tanks. And Francois rolled 10 four-ups <laughs> to save it. Which is crazy. <laughs> That's so if life. that was like, say... Uh, six go through. Yeah, you should have done twelve, 12 damage, wounds on so average. I wouldn't have killed it, but yeah. it would have been pretty it stable. Well, I mean, I would have finished CP to bring it back up, but still. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Uh, so two nothing for me. I got um, one uh, Titan Slayer, and I hold. So that's two nothing for me at the end of turn one. Knight's turn one coming up. Because yeah, I forgot. <laughs> okay, movement phase. Knight's turn one. Everybody just shuffled up. So these guys actually don't even need to advance with their move, move, move. So they're just gonna do that. You have to advance. But, oh, okay. But well, it doesn't matter. You can advance points or whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to shoot with them. So. Okay, and these knights shuffled around, and these guardsmen are moving out to get recon and to take objectives. So it's going to be uh, hemming me in here. Actually, so we'll see what happens move, at the end of turn one, one as I face some game. firepower. Just okay, so first turn was pretty cool. Uh, that uh, that tank died. Uh, four wounds done to that one, and a wound done by the wyvern double shooting onto this biker here. <laughs> Francois scored a lot of points. He holds more, he kills more, he hold, he killed, he got a recon and a big game hunter. So six to two at the end of first round to the knights going on to Custody's turn two. Just not going to double tap. All right, battle round two. Uh, so the Caldas has extended her influence for two CP. Uh, so I've moved my bike unit up here to kill some guardsmen. Um, I moved my two characters and advanced them up there. This captain came over here, that Caladius came back here, can still shoot the knight, but is holding that objective, and the Telamon didn't move. And I'm leaving my Terminators off for now, so we'll see what happens at the end of this turn. Alright, decent turn for Custodes. I killed all these guardsmen here with Hurricane Bolters, I killed most of the guardsmen in that unit that was over there with Bolters. I killed 7 out of 10 over here with the Lashram and Morale from this Caladius tank here. I uh, shot and then charged... Uh, that night and killed it. Did not explode. Now I've wrapped this guardsman squad here. And then, uh, so I'm one night down. I've got five points that turn for killing, holding, and I maxed out my Titan Slayer already. So that's uh, five points. So it's seven to six right now for Custodes going on to Knight's turn two. We only have 14 models. Because <laughs> <laughs> we play each other enough that it's pretty efficient. All right, so Knight's turn two. These guys just moved up. These three guys that were here have moved. Uh, where did they go? Oh, they're, they're, yeah, they're just hiding. They're in here. Yeah. This company commander has made a heroic dash over there. Um, these knights have moved into combat area, and there's a psyker that moved forward there, and otherwise nothing else moved. And that I used is some CP it. to make sure that these guys stayed alive. I don't know if we mentioned that. But. Yeah, so at the end of last turn, uh, morale, he used the morale to keep these guys alive. Yeah. Oh, um, by the way, that means I'm down to, did I move it? I think I'm down to five. I got you down at five. Yeah. yeah. Okay, coming back, end of turn two for knights. Okay, end of turn two knights. Uh, so basically, these knights came in, he rolled 14 wounds, basically. 14 hits for the craft hits. stratagem. How many four ups did I fail? Like 10, 10. four ups. <laughs> well, I know, because I only wounded like, well, only. I think I wounded like nine times and you failed. Like I failed seven. like all of them, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, those bites are dead. Uh, the Caldas came in, took a, a mortal wound off the Vexilla, but then failed to the charge. Um, and that is it. So, um, yeah, so Sponsor scored another seven points. So, it's going to be 13 to seven at the end of round two, going on the top of three. Fire Fist is my own personal bit of flavor. All right, all or nothing now. Turn three, Custodes. So this captain has flown up there. He's going to try and take this objective from the commander here. Um, Vexilla moved up and teleport homeward in the Terminators. V um, Valoris has moved up there to take out that assassin. Telamon did not move. And that's all I got. So let's come back at the end of the turn. The battlefield. Because now I think I actually have to uh, put some thinking into this. It's uh, quickly turning into All right, Custodes, bottom fight. of th uh, top of three. Uh, so I got onto this objective, killed that guy. Valoris killed the uh, assassin. These guys dropped down and did a bajillion wounds to that knight and killed it. And actually took no overwatch. And so now uh, it's a tie game at 13 all. So we're going to come back. Battle round 
Bottom of three. I'm still gonna hold more. All right, turn three for knights. These guys sort of congregated around here. These guys redeployed to get on this objective. There's a commander sitting on this objective now. This knight has fallen well, back here back. <laughs> because he's a coward. And uh, that's about it, actually. Oh, uh, these three dudes have continued to make inroads into here. And that's it. So we'll come back at the end of this turn. Yep. All right, knight's turn three. Uh, Crazy bad saves again. I lost three Terminators, 3.3 Terminators in the shooting phase, but that's all that happened and nothing else happened. So yeah. Francois just scores a point for holding, for holding more and his last gangbuster, and I got a point for killing more. Yeah. So um, that's it. So the game is currently 16 to 14 for Knights. Tight game going on to top of four. Oh, because they're being a okay, turn four for Custodes. Uh, the biker made it all the way in here, killed a bunch of guardsmen, made it into the night, uh, lost a five wounds on Overwatch, and then fluffed his attack and did two damage. Um, and then but the survived. Hitting back only did one damage. Yeah. <laughs> so so it was, just failed it was a lot a of fiat saves. And then these guys, of course, uh, failed their charge, nine is charge, so that's gonna happen. Yeah. And that's it. So I actually scored nothing, I just hold an objective, so it's just 16-15 going on to Knight's turn four. Okay, uh, so movement phase for knights. So this knight just continued to fall back, and that's basically about it. So we'll come back at the end of turn four for knights. All right, uh, so turn four was pretty short. This guy died to a smite, the captain, and those two guys died, failed all their invulns, and they died. So that's it. Four points for Francois because he held, and he killed, he held more, and he killed more. So that's a big four-point swing, 20 to 15 now. Uh, going on to top of five for Custodes. The knight? Uh, ten. All right, so turn five for Custodes. I killed these three guys, and the Telamon used his other thing and killed this, this squad of knight uh, guardsmen here. And I just moved Valoris oh, actually, sorry. No. onto here, and the Telamon moves nine, so he's on there, and this dude is on there. So I got two points, so it's 20 to 17, going on the bottom of five. This point. All right, bottom of five for Knights. Uh, basically, he's out of range for the Gatling, so shot the battle cannon, but uh, fluffed his wounds and did nothing to the Telamon, and uh, moved everything kind of back here. So just a point for holding, two points for me, because I hold more and I kill more. So it's 21 to 19, going into top of six. Like All right, so turn six for me. Yeah, All I did was and shuffle and around. I'm on these objectives, obscure my Telamon, and he just did six damage to the knight. And so now I only move like fully six, degraded. So definitely no way I can get it. Never, range. definitely not making it there. I scored one point for hold, so it's 21 to 20, going on to knight's turn six. Okay. So basically, if I kill you, I if get you... kill more. We hold the same, and I win. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So if you can kill the Telamon, you win. But I otherwise, need, I mean, I need to move up to be in range, right? Because 36 inches. Yeah. I'll be. I'll, I'll be able to move up enough to be in range. Because I can, I can still move there. Yeah, I'll definitely be in range. So, all right, let's see. Let's quickly see. This is the last dice roll of the game. Last turn. So now I'm hitting on five. So yep. I need to pull a rabbit again. Comes down to turn six. Night shooting Telamon. Okay. So. Okay, uh, fives. You're rolling ones. Well, that's a good start. Still rolling good hot. Start. Oh yeah, it's a very good still start. Still rolling hot. And I converted oh. one more, so that's... Oh, Francois, uh, you're killing me. Seven hits, but I'm still only wounding, wounding you on fives. Wounding on fives. Mini Knight Telemon. Uh, two. two wounds. Minus two. Okay, so I'm on a one-up save. So you're on a so three-up. So I'm on three-up. Yeah. So that's three damage. Failed one. Okay. I'm so I'm down to uh, nine. Now. Well, maybe. Battle Cannon, I need like a 12 here. I get a six. Yeah, six. that's not gonna do it. Oh, I got female pain. Oh, yeah? Three damage, right? Yeah. No. No. Okay. Rerolling the one. Oh, that's. Oh my bad. God. Still, you're making need, me sweat. I need to here, with all these. You're making me sweat. I wound with three. Minus two. Strength eight. Yeah. Okay, so three up again. Yeah. All right, oh, failed one. I can't so he's, he's alive. alive. The more I can do, I, I'd still do four damage. Okay, so he's alive. Yeah, he's alive on two. Wounds. Okay, so all that right. means you get hold. Yeah. I get. Three for ground control and hold more, so four. Yeah, so I get one, you get four. So 22, 24 to 22. <laughs> good game, man. Beautiful. Good game, good game. Oh, what a game, what a game. Oh, okay. two point victory for the custodians. Yeah, with three models with left. With three models left. <laughs> and that's, that's like almost wounds. like 800 points there. Because this though. guy, see, if I hadn't completely fluffed my shots the previous turn, he's on two wounds. I'm not even going to do it, but he's on two Ooh. wounds left. Woo! Oh. 
Okay. Well, All right. That feeling, was fun. Feeling the pain too. That was anyway. Fun. Oh, what a game. So, what do you think? So, Ooh. I think actually we both played as well as we could play. I don't think any of us made a well, major error. The the mistake that I made is not. I mean, I know, I know it because you've done this to me before, but I kind of in the moment forgot the teleport trick. I could have screened those knights better and kept him far enough away that maybe the, knight, the Terminators can't get him. Okay. Anyway. So that's the one thing that I would do differently. Otherwise, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Okay, yeah, I think we both played it pretty well. I think, um, like, your dice were better than mine, yeah. but, like, we don't want to blame the dice. Like, so that situation where the bad dice was, but I didn't have to be in that situation. No. Right? So I was too aggressive at going after this knight. I didn't need to. Which in the end you didn't need to kill, yeah. Yeah, because I don't need to kill. I already maxed all my knight killing objectives. Yeah. I just needed to make sure I was on at least three objectives at the end of the game. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I think that was cool. It was really just me against three knights because your other guys <laughs> didn't really do anything. Well, they got you points. They're, they're there to get, you know, they got more you and uh, recons, yeah. but then you, you were so good at blocking this off that after two turns I couldn't get recon anymore because all your troops were there right so I couldn't get into that quarter and I had to fall back otherwise everything dies over there right yeah the the only thing so maybe I could have gotten one more recon by like suiciding more guardsmen this way maybe yeah I needed to get uh, take care of these three guys as well yeah. which I finally did so maybe I could have gotten one more recon by being a little bit more um yeah yeah I think you chose the wrong assassin uh, the wrong assassin yeah I would have chose the Vindicare yeah. and then you make my characters are in danger, right? Yeah, that's right. Because I can't take in bombs, so I'm on like five up saves. Yeah. Like, you know, that the Vexilla only has true. five wounds. Yeah. You could kill, you could one shot the Vexilla. But I, I, I was thinking that you'd just never bring him out in the open. Well, I have to get them up if I want to teleport Homer, if yeah. I want to it's true. You know, be on these objectives, right? I had to freaking put a captain on the back objective, <laughs> right? That's right. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I have these difficult decisions to make because I only have so many models. Okay, so you're right. Maybe I should have gone with my first instinct, which was the Vindica. I almost didn't bring the cow this. I almost didn't pack it. And then at the last minute, I changed my mind. And the other thing is, I, uh, I mean, maybe you haven't played this list before, but it's no. like I don't need to use CP. And so I just made you spend four CP, so two to bring it, to and not do two it. to do it again for this died. round two <laughs> to not do anything. Yeah. Right? And that CP could have come in handy for you. Yeah, so that's that's a good lesson to learn. Um, definitely. Yeah. The I find that the Calis is just not not great. Well it's there's some matchups, man. I mean, when you're playing orcs for instance, like they're really CP dependent and they have a lot. So you're gonna make them eat a lot of CP. Yeah, but even then, they have so much CP. Yeah. But see, in my playtesting, the Vindicare, people just hide their characters and he never does anything for me. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know, maybe the Assassin's overrated and I should just not bring one. Um, well, I think you should. But I think if you were doing anything with your Calidus, you just like put it here. Yeah. Get your recon. Get your four points for recon because you only got two points for recon. Yeah. Right? Take put it behind that building. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do with it in that building? It's true. So if I right? if I got two more points for recon... Put it inside this building in that half of the table. Yeah. Right? It's done its job, which is to try and make me UCP. Yeah. Which it didn't do anything, but whatever. You brought it. Like, you can't take it back. So just make it get you two points. Yeah. So if I... Because if I got two more recons, then we tie, right? And then I have to come all the way over there and dig you out. Because mm -hmm. it's getting your recon. Yeah. Right? And if you got two more recon, we tie game. Yeah. It's true. So, yeah, I think once once its use was over and uh -huh. you just deep strike one model somewhere to get your recon, yeah. I think that's a, a good way of yeah, using that's, that's true. a, a Calidus yeah. Assassin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, well, that was a great that was game. Really fun, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching on the stream. Please consider subscribing to the channel, supporting us on Patreon.com. It's only $5 a month, which is about $1 American. And uh, at the current rate, right, it's about $1, $1.50. <laughs> um, Capital City Bloodbath coming up in a month. We're at 96 people for 40k, 42 people for AOS, so it's going to be big. I expect it to go well over 100 because lots of people are not signing up till I'm later. I'm not signed up. Ronsal's not even signed up. <laughs> I'm signing up tomorrow. <laughs> so um, so it's, it, we're going to break 100 easily. Um, so thank you very much for watching and supporting the channel, and we'll catch you guys next time.